See, I've got it all tied off about 12 inches right here. And we're going to make the spindle eye next. So you unravel the ends. I've got 12 pieces right now because I've got two pieces doubled over making six on each side. So I've got 12 pieces, but I only need eight when I make the spindle eye. So I like to take the ones on the outside, fold them back, take the four on the inside, whatever four seem to be left on the inside, and you'll clip them off. Pretty close. Be careful not to clip the strands that you want to keep. Because that will happen from time to time. And nothing could be more aggravating to do all this work and then make a mistake. Now you've got four on each side. Now we bring out this thing. I've got it all fixed up. You can see how you make it off. Make sure you use hemp, hemp twine. You could use cotton twine, but it just doesn't grip as good as the hemp twine does. I like to use the hemp twine because it makes the job a little bit easier. Take these and you bring these four over this way. And I try and weave them through. Try and keep everything straight, which is hard to do sometimes. <laughs> Take that one, bring the other one across, that one, bring the other one across, that one, bring the other one across, that one, finish it out like that. see how that works out like that. Another piece of hemp twine. Make you another constrictor nut right here.
Now you're ready to start tying it off. I like to use what they call a ligature knot. That's what some people call it. They say that's what they use when they tie you up inside if they do surgery. But it seems to work pretty good for this too. Go ahead and tie the first one off on the top. Kind of tighten it up as you go each time you do one. That way it makes sure it stays uniform throughout. Clip these off short so they stay out of the way. Put your next one on here. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing doing all of them, but I'll go ahead and finish it off and I'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes. So I'll stop for right now on this one. So now we're ready to take it off the spindle. You can see it all tied up. I've got the knots on there all the way around. So then you just 